Let's start with the basic introduction of a digital signal processor. Consider an MP3 audio working that you can see in the figure. A DSP takes real world signals like voice, audio, video, temperature, pressure or position that have been digitized and then mathematically manipulates them. Like you can see in this figure over here. The recording gets converted using an ADC which is an analog signal to digital signal converter. It gets converted into a digital signal which is a series of zeros and ones and it is given to the digital signal processor with al which along with the memory processes it manipulately and man uh, processes it mathematically and manipulates the signal as an output from the digital signal processor which is the DSP you get a digital uh, you get a modified or manipulated digital signal okay and that digital signal is then converted by a DAC which is nothing but a digital to analog converter it is converted back to a analog signal which is then given to the speakers and this is how uh, a digital signal processor works okay so this is a basic introduction of digital signal processor okay today we are going to see the classification of signals Okay. A signal, uh, as you must be knowing, is something that carries information. It's, it is something that uh, uh, passes energy or carries information. And a signal has many characteristics. One of the main thing that you have to understand about the signal is the frequency of the signal. So before we start with classification of signals, let's just see uh, these basic concepts which you have to understand before we actually get into the details of uh, operations in signals or different type of signals okay so let's start with this wave here so consider a sinusoidal wave I'm just drawing a sinusoidal wave okay so this is my sinusoidal wave okay now um, this is considered as the positive half of the wave and this part is considered as the negative half of the wave okay and this characterizes one cycle and this characterizes the second cycle okay so both when you have uh, the positive half and the negative half of the wave you have one complete cycle okay so a wave is sort of a vibration which carries energy which carries information okay so this is nothing but uh, i have tried to explain it with a sinusoidal wave now let's see uh, how we get frequency out of it most of you all must be knowing the definition of frequency but let's just go through it once again so i'll draw the same uh, wave that i have drawn uh, before sorry about that okay so let's draw the same wave that i have drawn before okay it's a sinusoidal wave um, this is the zero this is the positive half and this is the negative half all right so that makes it like we saw in the previous uh, wave definition that makes it one cycle okay similarly so this is the starting with zero this is the first cycle and this is the second cycle all right and consider this entire thing happens in one second the total number of cycles made per second by an alternating quantity is called as frequency okay we are going to see frequency over here 
okay now frequency is measured in cycles per second okay so now my frequency i can say is total number of cycles total number of cycles per second and what is the unit of frequency the unit of frequency is hertz okay now in this case in this case my total number of cycles per second is 2 so the frequency in this case is 2 hertz now consider this is a and this is minus a this becomes my peak to peak amplitude which is nothing but 2a okay so this becomes my peak to peak amplitude of the signal peak to peak amplitude of the signal is nothing but 2a okay uh, this is of the same uh, yeah do not confuse this is of the same amplitude okay so um, this is something this is also called as a periodic signal we will see ahead uh, in this lecture what a periodic signal means but this particular thing is also an example of a periodic signal so uh, the idea of this particular diagram is for you all to understand how frequency is calculated so i have one second and i have two waves two complete waves in this one second that's why the frequency is 2 hertz okay so what if my frequency is 50 hertz this means that the voltage alternates 50 times in a second okay frequency uh, just uh, for you all to note frequency is also only cal calculated in ac supply and it is absent in dc okay supposing my frequency is 1 kilohertz that means i have 1000 cycles completed by the wave per second okay in this case in one second i have completed two cycles so for 1 kilohertz it means 1000 cycles are completed by the wave per second in the same way if it is 1 megahertz then it is going to be million cycles completed by the waves uh, completed by the wave in 1 second if it's 1 gigahertz then it's a billion cycle billion cycles completed by the wave in 1 second so this is how the unit of frequency works